Even if you religiously follow things like the 2020 rule, if you still wear your full prescriptions up close, then it doesn't matter. Your eyes are just still gonna get worse. Hello, this is Wida. Nothing to do with the drug, but everything to do with your eyesight. In this video, I will be talking about how to stop your myopia from progressing while still being able to live a normal life. So, no silly eye exercises. One, two, three. Five, one, two, three. No Bates method. No pills to take. No major lifestyle changes. I'm gonna build a tree house and stare at the sun every day for three hours for 30 years. Yeah. None of that. This is a purely biological and scientific approach. But before that, disclaimer! Everything I say in this video is not medical advice. If you have any medical conditions, then please consult a professional, not a random guy in the internet. Don't monkey around with your lenses and do silly things like driving around with your differentials. Take care, kids. Now, this video won't be too science heavy, but it is important to know the basics. In a nutshell, your myopia starts with a ciliary spasm. You've spent too long in close up, and the focusing muscle in your eye is locked up, kind of like a muscle cramp. It can't relax, and so objects far away will appear blurry. Check the video linked in the description below for more information. But it doesn't stop there. There is another less known cause as to why your myopia keeps on getting worse. And no, it's not genetics. Just, no, please. But it's actually using your glasses up close. Wait, what? Yes. This is some secret wisdom of the ways of the eye, young Padawan. Now there's lots of science to back this up, and again I'm not diving too deeply on that. But basically, using full prescription glasses that correct you to seeing really far, up close, puts so much strain onto your eyes that your myopia just keeps getting worse and worse. Now this deserves its own video, but for now I will link to some studies and videos down in the description box below. Now, it's pretty much impossible to avoid close-up work altogether. And you don't have to retreat to a mountain for 10 years either. If you're someone growing up in modern society, then it's pretty much impossible to avoid close-up work. There's school, there's work, there's games, movies. And now that the pandemic is still raging on, it's even more impossible to minimize it. In fact, my screen time has shot up to up to 10 hours a day because of all this online school over the past year. Yet I still managed to reverse my myopia by over one diopter. That's really weird considering all my friends' eyesight are reportedly getting worse. So I'm going to give you some tips backed up with science to stop that from happening. I can summarize this whole thing into one sentence. You basically want to keep yourself at the blur horizon. Now, blur horizon is a coined term to describe the area between clarity and blur. And it's really easy to find. Let's take a piece of text and make sure it's not too big, something really tiny. And take off your glasses and hold it close to you where it's really clear, so it's super sharp. And then all you have to do is just move the text back very slowly until you see a tiny blur. And when I say tiny, I really mean it. Tiny blur. So mine is right about there. So that's my blur horizon. Some people also call it edge of blur. Now, if you have higher myopia, then obviously your blur horizon is gonna be like way closer to your eyes. In fact, it's so easy to calculate your blur horizon. All you have to do is divide one by your degree of myopia. So for example, if you're minus five, then one divided by five is 0 0.2. That means your blur horizon is 0 0.2 meters away from your eyes. Now let that sink in for a second. 0 0.2 meters is 20 centimeters, right? Which is that. So if you're minus five, objects that are far away from here start to get blurry. This. It's that close. 
So the first tip is to wear weaker or no glasses for close-up. If you're below minus two, then consider ditching off your glasses entirely for close-up. That's because your blur horizon is very likely to be at least arm's length, which allows you to work on something like your laptop screen comfortably without hunching over. But if you're above minus two, then it may be necessary to wear some correction. I mean, sure, you can just work with no glasses, but at this level of myopia, the blur horizon is already pretty close to your face. It just won't be comfortable because you would have to hunch over just to see your laptop screen clearly. Like, you don't want to do something like this all day, would you? So you want to wear glasses that allow you to see the screen clearly and nothing else. Lean back a little bit and the screen gets blurry. For those of you who are familiar with the enmiopia method, you do know that these are called your differentials. Now, there is no specific amount as to how much you should reduce for your differentials. But generally, at enmiopia, we reduce 1.5 diopters lower than our full prescription. So if you wear glasses that are 1.5 diopters weaker than your full prescription, then you're basically seeing the world in minus 1.5 meaning that your blur horizon is 1 divided by 1.5, which is around 65 to 70 centimeters away from your eyes. So that's pretty comfortable. Remember, the goal of your differentials is to have the blur horizon at an ergonomic distance for close-up. By not wearing your full prescriptions for close-up, you will stop your myopia from progressing, because in the blur horizon, you will basically allow your ciliary muscles to completely relax, while still seeing perfectly clear. The second thing is to not inch closer as... Now, this is easier said than done. Sometimes we get so immersed in our work or whatever we're doing that we can't help but just, you know, just, just inching closer and closer until we're like this close. And when we're done, we look at the world and we go, oh, what's this? So you really need to assess yourself and really ask the question, am I inching closer? Am I staying at a good distance from the screen? It may help to time-lapse you doing your work and see for yourself. Number three is to get good lighting. Being in a dark room will make it much harder to see and will likely make you to inch closer. Remember, we want to minimize the contraction of this ciliary muscle as much as possible. Being in a well-lit room will allow you to see much farther with the same level of clarity as being in a dark lit room. Number four is to active focus periodically. Yes, you still want to make active focus a habit even in close-up. Thanks to your differentials, this is really easy to do. All you have to do is just lean back a little bit and the screen gets a little blurry and you can challenge that. Number five, you can try to check your centimeter measurements before and after close-up. That will tell you if you have good close-up habits or not. If your centimeters have decreased, then perhaps you're inching closer and closer or that you're not within your blur horizon and just stay there. Number six is you want to keep on blinking. Now, not blinking to active focus, and certainly not like this. But our blink rates seem to drop drastically when we are immersed in something like our work. Now, this is not exactly eyesight related, but it certainly is eye health related. Keeping your blink rate up will prevent you having dry eyes. And trust me, dry eyes, it's not a pleasant feeling. This is because blinking basically helps renew the tear film, which is important in moisturizing and protecting the eyes. Number seven is, of course, take regular breaks. This will be the first thing the mainstream will tell you, but even if you religiously follow things like the 20-20-20 rule, if you still wear your full prescriptions up close, then it doesn't matter. Your eyes are just still gonna get worse. So take short breaks, use your full prescriptions and stare into the distance for, for a while before you get back to work. But of course, most ideally, challenge your distance vision using active focus. Now, good close-up habits is just one part of a larger scale to your vision improvement journey. Good close-up habits won't reverse your myopia. It will stop your myopia from getting worse. To reverse your myopia, you still need to challenge your distance vision on top of having good close-up habits. So I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, then please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing to your channel. And tell us, how are your close-up habits? How much do you spend in a close-up? And do you get extremely blurry vision after a close-up? Until next time, here's the 2020. God bless. Lunch. <laughs>
<laughs> Bad idea.